I'm rolling. I'm rolling. Yeah. yeah. A little chain. Full chain. See if you can see this thing. Every year, I like to do projects that are a variety of things. Working with TGR is great. We get to film crazy places and, and kind of do that more unrelatable skiing. And so I love being able to work on something that's a different view, different viewpoint. Gosh, it might have been my second or third day skiing at Bachelor this year and Red Chair was running. It's not the chair that runs every day. And I started just hot lapping it. And eventually, like that day, I was just doing the exact same run over and over. I was like, whoa, this is so fun. I want to shoot a little video here. This would be a perfect place. We invited Johnny Collinson from Utah and Mark Abma from Whistler. And so the idea is to get together with Johnny and Mark and get to show them the line and kind of train through there and ski, ski run and have some fun. So like the first one, it's basically the sender right there to the left of the chair. We'll have to see if it works. I'm expecting that with following Sage around that we're gonna be doing kind of like a bike influenced ski run. First hit, there's these really cool wind lips. They form all these crazy gaps. We've lined it up, I'd say a good 50 footer here. I think we're on jump number seven right now. The unknowns of skiing are definitely conditions. Right now we're on jump number nine. I think we've got one or two more. Day two, when we went back up to go hit the line that we'd built and it just turned out to be a block of ice. <laughs> I don't know, I think maybe we re reevaluate. Basically, it's too windy up there. We built like multiple lines in the front. It got too icy. You get here, chairs closed, done for the day. So condition wise and what I was hoping we were gonna be able to ski, what we were gonna be able to shoot, didn't really come together the way I was hoping. Good morning, skiers and riders. We have received almost a foot of snow overnight, and it is still snowing hard. 27 inches in 48 hours? All right. <laughs> it's a real winter up there. It pretty much doesn't get any more contrasty than three weeks ago till now. Snow conditions have been good. We got these guys back out. Today and the last few days have been like ultimate storm riding days where it is just like storming, windy, kind of insane that humans are even outside like hanging out, not to mention having fun.
plan here? Well, we were just talking about it. I mean, we could. It's like 1.30ish now. Okay. We have about two more hours on the hill if we yeah. wanted to go kind of do some building there. The last time, knowing that we hadn't really accomplished what we wanted, we all talked about how it'd be great if we came back and we actually got to complete the project. Enhancing the features a little bit. The new snow in the past few days, it just turned into kind of just like having a day with your buddies. Sage scope this pretty crazy gap through the trees here. We're basically gonna be having branches brushing our shoulders. I might as well just give it a go. Three, two, one. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> 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 Woo! That's enough air! The highlight of this week was just seeing Sage's vision come to fruition. I think that in itself, anytime you see a vision come together is always a pretty rad experience. Hey, there you go. Howdy. Yeah, yeah boy. Another one for the hook. Looking for. Yeah, my snow and snow. Nice.